Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Grab yourself a cup of tea and let's talk some boxing. Now we have a big fight coming up on May 8th and that is Billy Joe Saunders versus Canelo Alvarez. And he looks in great shape in preparations for this Canelo fight. I would say the same about Canelo, but then he's always in great shape for his fights. So Billy Joe Saunders hasn't always came in the best condition, but Canelo will bring the best out of him. And that is the thing about Billy Joe, is he needs this kind of fight to get the best out of him. He's not going to be the best Billy Joe Saunders in there with, who was it he won the title off of? Is Sufi someone like that when he moved up to super middleweight? Now, I am interested to see how he deals with being in there with an elite level fighter in the super middleweight division because Billy Joe Saunders' best wins and best performances have come at middleweight. So how does he deal being at super middle and having to have the gas tank going through the full 12 rounds? Because I don't believe that Billy Joe Saunders has always shown he has that gas tank. You would expect it now because he would have put in the work in preparations for Canelo. Billy Joe Saunders is a very good boxer. He moves well. He has good footwork. He's fast as well. Does he carry that up to super middleweight is the question. Well, I mean, obviously a 168 fighter will weigh in 168 for the weigh in, but then will rehydrate back up to their natural weight. I wouldn't imagine that Billy Joe Saunders would want to be too heavy and rehydrating up too much because he wants to be moving and extra weight is only going to slow him down. I know that it helps with punch resistance and things like that, but that's not going to be too much of an issue for Billy Joe Saunders. If Canelo can pin him down, then he's going to be in a very difficult position because Canelo will break him down. He'll go to the body and he will find a way to stop Billy Joe. In this fight, we are expecting Billy Joe Saunders to cause Canelo problems. I don't think there are many who expect him to beat Canelo, although there are those who say that Billy Joe Saunders is the one to do it. And that is based off of Canelo's difficulty facing pure boxers in the past, like Lara and like Mayweather. But he did win against Lara, although that was a very close decision and controversial at the time. Was very, very close, that fight. And can Billy Joe Saunders replicate that? Well, Canelo is a different fighter now to what he was then. He is much improved. Canelo has always been a good fighter and a very exciting talent, but back then he was quite young still, so he was still developing and had things to learn in the sport of boxing. We are seeing now the Canelo at his best, the elite level Canelo. Make no mistake about it, this is the best Canelo that Billy Joe Saunders is facing. He's not facing him when he's past his best, when he's on the decline. Canelo is, what, 30, 31 years old? He's in the prime of his life. So if Billy Joe Saunders can do it, then that is an unbelievable victory for him. The question is, how is Billy Joe Saunders going to be able to? Because Canelo can approach this fight many different ways, and in the fight he can adjust, he can go through the gears. So if something is not working, Canelo always has something he can revert to. And that is being called into question whether Billy Joe Saunders can do that. He has been in fights where he struggled and managed to get the victory, but that is usually against a lower level opposition. When he has the best fights, when he has the Andy Lees, the David Lemieux, that is when you get the best at Billy Joe Saunders, so we will see the same in the Canelo fight. But when he gets to that level, the question is, can he make the adjustments? Can he still get the victory when he's in there with a highly skilled opponent who can break him down and stop him if he allows him to do that? Billy Joe Saunders in this fight, is he going to go on the back foot? Is he going to go on the front foot? Is he going to stand there and trade with Canelo? No, that would be silly. I mean, I would expect Billy Joe Saunders to be boxing on the outside to try and make Canelo miss, which isn't going to be easy because Canelo is very fast and he's precise with his punches also. I mean, if you look at Golovkin in there with Canelo, he was not able to stop him. In that second fight, Canelo was there in his face and close to Golovkin. He didn't want to stay too far away from him. The distance that those two were fighting at was incredible. Now, I'm not believing that Billy Joe Saunders can do the same because I don't think he's as tough as Golovkin when it comes to being able to absorb punishment. So he's not going to be able to stand in front of Canelo for too long. He's going to want to be moving, using his footwork, using his angles. But Canelo does have good positioning. He's not the fastest on his feet though. He just has good positioning. So while Canelo has fast hands and great punch dexterity, and he seems like he moves well, he does move well, but his feet are not as fast as his hands. He just has good positioning and that is something he has learned during his career because when he is fighting pure boxers and they are moving, that is what disrupts Canelo. But he has adjusted and found ways to overcome his feet not always being fast enough to carry him into range to be able to get his punches off because it's one thing being fast and powerful, but your feet 
need to be able to get you in range to land those punches. So if the speed is not there, then he has to rely on different things, such as his positioning, and obviously cutting off the ring as well, because Canelo does do that extremely well. He cuts off the ring, but he's almost applying pressure, but it doesn't seem like he's putting a lot into it. He's just closing down his opponent and looking for angles, looking for ways he can get beyond his opponent's guard. Canelo hasn't always shown the best gas tank earlier in his career, but he does now, and that's because he breaks fights down. He doesn't work when he doesn't need to, and he makes sure he always has something in the tank. So he's not exerting himself a lot when he's closing his opponent down. He's just looking for angles, staying calm, staying in gear one, until he has to make his move. I mean, we saw that in the way he stalked Callum Smith in their fight. It was just incredible. And Anvi Yildirim, of course, he didn't even come out of gear one when he was landing his best shots in that fight because that just wasn't an opponent that was ever going to cause Canelo any problems in the boxing ring. Callum Smith was different, we believe that maybe he could cause him some problems, but I don't think anyone or many predicted that Callum Smith would be able to beat him, and that's no disrespect to Callum Smith, it's just that Canelo is that good. He is an elite level fighter, I mean look at his resume, the fights he takes back to back, and Billy Joe Saunders is another one of those fights. Now, who is there out there that could beat Canelo? I believe that it is either Billy Joe Saunders, or possibly David Benavidez, Kayla Plant, would give him a good fight, but I just think that those are the ones that could cause Canelo the most problems. I'm not sure though that they just have enough to beat Canelo because it's going to take someone who is as well-rounded as Canelo, who can adjust during fights, to be able to beat him, not just someone who's good at one thing and not so good at other things. It's going to take a good fighter who is 8, 9 out of 10 across the board, just like Canelo himself. That is why it is such an uphill task when anyone gets in the ring with Canelo Alvarez. But Billy Joe Saunders is in good shape, he's got his weight right, and he is fighting in the super middleweight division, he's a natural middleweight, but his movement is going to be extremely important, his speed as well, and how he dictates the pace of the fight. Can he do that at super middle better than he could do it at middleweight? I guess that is the question that I am asking. Because Billy Joe Saunders' style and his game plan likely going into this Canelo fight is going to be reliant on those things, controlling the fundamentals, having that speed and movement to bother and disrupt Canelo. Being at super middleweight it's not going to be as easy as it would be at middleweight because that is his natural weight and being a mover it's going to be a lot more difficult having extra weight on him to be able to move as fast as he would do at 160 but he looks in great shape and he looks prepared ready for this fight on May 8th. Guys anyway what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below, also leave a like and grab that subscribe button. Thanks guys.